Hello, you lovely lot. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you the rules for adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers. Uh, don't be frightened of negative numbers. I know most of you are. There is a logic behind it, kind of. But it's a kind of, you will understand to get the answers right. So we have a plus and a plus in a question equals a plus. It's really easy to remember that one. A plus and a negative equals a negative. Not so much. You have to think about that one at the beginning. A negative and a negative equals a plus. That you kind of can remember. A negative and a plus equals negative. That's just the same as that one. They just, we, you know, ran the other way. And then the good old number line, which tells you we've got a zero in the middle where it all begins. And then positive integers go that way. An integer is a whole number, not a decimal, not a fraction, a whole number. Four, 10, 100, 90, 22. Do I need to go on? Then we go back down to the negatives. We're going down to get our negative integers and negative numbers. So, done a nice easy one to show you. Four minus six equals minus two. Okay, so let's go to our number line. So it's a plus four. So we're gonna start on the plus four and it wants us to take away six. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, minus two. Cause he asked us to take away six. So we're going down to the negatives. Let's do the next one. Two negative eight, two minus eight. Let's start on two cause it's positive. And it wants us to minus eight. So we're going to go down that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our answer there is negative seven. The next one, nine minus 10. Same again, but it's a positive nine. We want to minus 10. So we're going to start on this nine and we're going to go one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's n so our answer is minus one. The next one, three minus eight, and it's a plus three. So we're here, and it wants us to minus eight. So from three, we're going to go that way because it's minus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our answer there is negative five. Right, I just want to check that one. Does that look right to you? Two minus eight. Let's do that again. Two, and it wants us to net minus eight. So we start in two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the answer is actually minus six. So that was a never on my part. So let's not dwell on that. We all make mistakes, that's how we learn. So now we've got four minus minus six. So let's have a look at this here. Let's look at our little symbols, our rules. So we've got two negatives here. So what's it asking us to do? A negative and a negative equals a plus. So what that means is we're now changing that to a plus. So the answer is 10. Crazy eye. Why did they do it, you ask? It's all maths. It's all for you to use your brain. Right, the next one. 10, negative, negative 14. So minus and a minus, minus and a minus equals a plus. 
So that now becomes a plus and our answer is 24. Now we've got another one, two minus negative negative eight. Give you one second to work that out. So we know a negative and negative equals a plus. So the answer to this is eight plus two is 10. So, you know, it's pretty easy when you remember, but you do need to practice. And then finally, we've got a cheeky mix up here. We've got 20 negative and a plus 10 equals what? So let's get back to our little rules. We've got a negative and a plus, this combination. So it now turns into a minus. So this now here, using our rules, is a negative. So our answer is 20 minus 10 gives us 10. Take a minute just to take that in. As I suggest with all my videos, get a spare book, ask your teacher for a spare uh, exercise book, use paper, get a folder, keep it all in a folder for revision. It's all important to have a record of it for revision. So let's go over to here. Now we've got negative three minus minus nine equals six. So how did we get six? So stop and think about this. We know that a minus and a minus equals a what? Yes, a plus. So now we've got minus three plus nine. equals what? So let's go back to our number line. But we're starting on minus three this time. We didn't before, we've always started this end, but now we're starting here, minus three plus nine. So we're going the opposite way. Minus three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the answer is plus six. So that's how we got that answer. That's how we got six, okay? What about this one? Minus six plus one. Well, come on, we all know that one. Minus six plus one. Minus six plus one equals minus five. I slipped in an easy one there for you. Now we've got nine. Minus minus two. Well, we know what a negative and a negative is. It becomes a plus. So nine plus two equals 11. Minus three plus minus 10. So we've got plus three. And we know that a plus and a minus equals a what? Plus and a minus equals a negative, so that becomes a negative. So now we've got minus three, minus 10, equals what? So we've got minus three, minus 10. Now, as you can see, my number line only goes up to minus 10. So you're gonna have to pretend with me. So we're gonna have minus three, minus 10. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It goes up to the answer is minus thirteen. Okay. Minus five plus and a minus five. So what's a plus and a negative? I say negative. You may say minus. Somebody else may say subtract. All the same things. So if I switch between saying negative and minus, it means the same thing. So we have a plus and a minus, and a plus and a minus equals a minus. So now we have minus five, minus five equals minus 10. And that's because you got minus five, one, two, three, four, five, take it to minus 10. 
Same sort of question. Plus and a minus, we know equals minus. Now we've got minus 7, minus 8. So we've got minus 7, minus 8. So if we had minus 7 and we did that all the way up to 8 and carried on, if I had a longer number line, it would rest that minus 15. Nice easy one to finish. Negative and a negative is a plus. So 4 plus 6. Yes, it's easy. It's a 10. And then this cheeky one at the end. Minus and a minus is a... Yep, yeah, I hear you all cry. It's a plus. So the answer is 10 plus 14 equals 24. Now, that's a little introduction to it. The next video I'm going to do is for when we use these all in multiplication and division. It'll be a video just to show you they all do the same thing. But I will do two separate videos because I know it can be tricky to learn. Um, okay, um, I hope I helped you and I shall speak to you lovely lot soon. Goodbye.